Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Does that sound familiar? Uh, that comes from Matthew 5. It's from a famous section of the Gospels. Jesus is going over uh, people who are blessed for one thing after another. There's eight or nine of them. And this is the very first one. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. And I don't know about you, but when I hear that, I don't, especially in years past, I didn't understand it all, but it was a disconnect because it's like blessed. That was a good thing, right? You know, we're, we're blessed. And basically, biblically, that means you're happy or you're prosperous. That might be internally, it may be externally, but this is talking about internally. Blessed are they who are poor in spirit. Now, poor in spirit is a curious term, but think about it. Poor, just like in temporal wealth, he's talking about the same thing, but it's internally that we are poor. We're poor in spirit. We've come to the end of ourselves. We have no resources on our own. We are empty. And blessed are those who are empty, who are broken, who are struggling and suffering. Let's think about that. Now, this is one of the enduring lessons of the persecuted. And it, it has its own echo in my own life. And I want to tell you a little story. So in my 30s, um, uh, I was engaged and uh, so excited to get married. And then one day, the Lord tells me, he says that, that he, this has to end. He wants it to end. And it's all by design. And... Um, that was the beginning of the most tremendous pain I've ever been through in my life. So I knew full well this was from the Lord, but I descended into deep, deep debilitating pain. And you know what it's like when you're just, every day you're just one, one step in front of the other, and that's about as much as you can do. And, and uh, there was a whole bunch of tears and a whole bunch of hanging on to those around you, and they're kind of carrying you through life. Um, so though, here is the thing. So in the midst of that deep, deep pain, um, I was closer to God than I had ever been in my life. And I was closer to God than I've ever been since looking back. Oh my gosh, what I experienced was just the sweetest thing. And to the point uh, where it, it almost felt schizophrenic because I'm in so much pain and I want it to end. And yet I know that if it ends, I'm not going to be as close to God. And, and that was a tough thing. So I wanted to stay there and I had to get out. I had to come out of the grave at some point. But I didn't want to lose what I had. The world looks down on those who are poor in spirit. The world only has one message. A winner is strong. A winner has tremendous internal resources. It's self-strength, self-reliance, right? Especially in America. That's our message. But God says, God says that blessed are the poor in spirit because when we come to the end of ourselves, that's when we've arrived on the doorstep and we're about to open the door to where we can never get to before, to transformation. And that transformation where God wants to take you, he can't get you there until we come to the end of ourselves, until we become poor in spirit. God bless you.